Charles, and I'm on a mission to find what's inside everything. To help me get my answers, I have an industrial CT scanner. It takes a whole bunch of X-ray images from all around a subject, and then builds a 3D model revealing every internal detail. Today, we're looking inside of the greatest decision-making tool ever devised, the Magic 8-Ball. I don't know what exactly is in here, but the trapped spirits of personal coaches can't weigh all that much, so we'll just settle for a short two-hour scan. The Magic 8-Ball has been available in more or less this form for 75 years now. You pick it up in your palm, ask it a yes-no question with the 8 facing up, and then flip it over and it will give you an answer, ranging from yes definitely to outlook not so good, with a couple of reply hazy try agains thrown in to keep you on your toes. Are we going to be able to decipher its secrets? Without a doubt. So let's go take a look. Is this going to be easy? Cannot predict now. Interesting, because I can predict. There's not much going on in here. We'll just generate an ROI on the actual ball. Think from this, I can just see what's going on. Look, it was a toy invented in the 1950s, but we're going to give it a fair go. Well, first of all, there's, there's some sort of blue juice. It says don't count on it. I'm counting on it. There's some sort of blue juice inside of here. And all of the little suggestions and answers are written on some object that's floating in that juice. I don't know how many answers there are, but each face of this object is triangular, which would suggest to me that it is a icosahedron? This whole thing splits into a couple functional groups. We have the functional part that actually does anything, and that's retained by some gaskets on the top here and one at the bottom here. Those gaskets are retaining it to, you know, the outer cosmetic shell. Yeah, it's even confirming that for me. It says yes. I think we are seeing right here in the middle our icosahedron. Let me see if there's some way I can trim this ROI down so it's just the functional element. Cool, 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 cool. So that is some projection of an icosahedron. Let me get an icosahedron. I'll be right back. If you're surprised that I have a pack of RPG dice in my backpack at all times, you clearly do not understand the sort of man I am. If we look into ROI 2 here, I think we can probably get our attenuation limits set just right so we can only see the ball. The, the die. The thing that spins around. I think we can see it clear as day there. What we have is we have an icosahedron. It's made out of plastic, just like everything else in here that isn't liquid. In fact, I don't think there's any metal in here. That is definitely an icosahedron. Same energy as a 20-sided die. And I think we can even tell how it's been assembled. So the icosahedron in here is actually hollow. And attached to opposite faces of two halves is a peg and a socket. And those pegs and sockets bind together under force never come apart again. There's a jagged seam line between those two halves, and that kind of is telling me, yeah, there's definitely two parts that have been snapped together. And I think on certain faces, you can even see that. So on Outlook Not So Good, and without a doubt, but not Ask Again Later, you can see the seam lines that we're seeing in the scan here. So this is, of course, the part where all the voodoo magic is stored that makes this thing function. Except it isn't, because all it is is a floating D20 with slogans printed on the sides. The question is, how do you make it spin reliably when you do that? I did a bit of research before this, and that is actually what the patent around these surrounds. Let's go back to ROI1 here. Here's where the weirdness happens. I think we have our answer here, because this is clearly shaped as though this bottom piece presses on to this. When that's pressed on, it brings with it this sort of funnel geometry. The shape of that funnel just guarantees that when this thing is spun so that it is operating side down during the asking a question portion of the remit, this D20 is never going to land face down. It's always going to hit the side and roll at least a little bit. So you give it some inertia when you spin it and back round, it floats up to the top of this blue dyed goop and then it will land kind of wedged in the bottom of this hole. The corner of your D20 is never going to sit nicely and flat anywhere along here. The question is, what induces the icosahedron of wisdom to spin? And I think it's the geometry at the bottom of that hole. There's no way that funnels just to guarantee that the ball always lands on edge. Would it influence the way that the fluid moves. It shouldn't, because this is a, an entirely filled chamber. If we go over to the projections, oh no, there is a bubble. There is one little bubble of air. The funnel's just to keep the bubbles up. That's literally all it does. The funnel is just there so that the bubbles, because they can't fill it perfectly, you'll never fill it perfectly. They're just there so that the bubbles wind up stuck up here 
behind the funnel instead of showing up in the view screen. One thing's for sure, these guys really like their plastic push connect assembly. Because that's how this entire ball is held together on the outside, and it appears to be how this entire chamber is held together on the inside. There may be some thermal fusion going on in here, but I can't tell. It snaps together around this, retains it, and you're golden. But it's filled via, there's a screwed on plug here at the bottom, it looks like. The plug is actually retained by plastic screw heads. Little Phillips plastic screws. That's the only thing keeping the mystery juice from coming out. Personally, I feel that that's all I have to say about this. Wouldn't you agree, Magic 8 Ball? Yes. And on that, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like. And if you want to see inside of something, leave a comment with your suggestion. If you want to support the channel, share this video with a friend or check out hacksmith.store. And if you want to see inside of everything, get subscribed.